What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to some ghost things again to Sony for the code. And in this episode, we are going to focus on clearing out the fog. So I know that sounds kind of vague, but I'm referring to the fog on the map. There's quite a bit of fog still left. And if I'm going to find hot springs and bamboo strikes and fox dens and all that stuff, uh, the best way to do it is just going to be clear the fog. So, I mean, we got our our 30% anti-fog clothing on and we're literally just going to run around um, and, and knock some stuff out. Normally this is something that I would just kind of do on my own time, but this game does tend to have a lot of stuff that just pops up, like just random, you know, random environmental type stuff. So I figure as we're going, we'll probably find some interesting activities. If we don't, y'all never see this video, so it won't matter. If we do, that's great. I see some Mongols over there. And if there's Mongols, there's probably a prisoner. If there's a prisoner, he's going to give me a objective to go do. Okay, come. So, cut the creek. Mongols, Mongols everywhere. Oh, I know you did not just poke my horse, bro. Kaka. 
Like, I'm sorry the Batman hurt you. Come back. Oh my god, what is this? Stop that, stop that. Mind if I do? Ooh, some steel. Oh, so every time we pop one of those bases, it unveils a bunch of stuff nearby us. You little fox. It's, it's a rule. You have to pet the fox after it helps you. Alright. 
let's check. I want to check down there, see what's that, what's in that fog. I feel like there might be something. Maybe a strike. Maybe a hot spring. Actually, probably not a hot spring because we got one of those right here. Very possible there's a shrine here, though. Yep. Yep, yep. Make sure I haven't been here before. No, I have not. And this is... Definitely a shrine. I don't feel like I can make that jump. Father died last night. I'm so tired, but I can't sleep. Not while the sun is out. It's beautiful up here.
Charm of Ignari. Yo, please tell me this is like a bonus resources. Oh my god. Oh, that's so good. So incredibly good. That is top tier. Alright, let's clear that fog. I think I can get down this way. Something here, there's a burden. Where'd the bird go? Get up top. Mamushi Venom. Let's see what it looks like. Um, I think I'll keep this for now. I mean, this one's not bad, but the, the teal and brown is just a little meh. You know, nothing about it that really... Makes me like, oh yeah, that's badass. I should get that. Foxton! And that's another charm slot. I think I'm gonna have to make a video, like a, a guide video for this, because to be honest, I think the... I would argue that the two charms we have right now, the uh, Okunonushi and Inari, are probably like the best early game charms in the game. I mean, extra supplies means upgrades faster, which is phenomenal. The better, like the earlier you can get this, the better. And then getting health out of combat is huge, because I'm not going into fights on the verge of death anymore. Melee health, resolve, and what do we want? I don't know. Maybe the damage reduction below 50%. Guessing that's for having all my charm slots unlocked. All right. Um... Go over here. I got a gift available. Man, 
think I'm still only one available for Swordsmith. Another temple, maybe? Yep, yep. Or shrine, not temple, but you know what I meant. I'm real curious because I don't I mean the stuff we got is really good it would have to be a, a seriously amazing charm to make me want to give up extra resources and heal out of combat like both of those are just such amazing quality of life things because I start every single fight I go into now with full health which means I can execute my special abilities more often and the extra resources, I mean, that's self-explanatory, you know? At least until I get everything fully upgraded. In which case, there's obviously better stuff, but... We're still quite a ways off from doing that. Charm of Amaterasu. Killing enemies restores health. Um, maybe? I'll put it on. I want to see how much health I get from it. Because that, interestingly enough, could be um, could be even better. Sure. So I want to see something. Is there a way where I can... Uh, pan map, guiding wind target. Trying to see if there's a way to remember where these shrines are for a video. I mean, Arrow Peak was where we just got the resources one, and then this one has the potential to be better as well. So these two are going to unveil that. Let's go over here, and then we'll just swing around just to get rid of that fog. Oh, 
Oh, well, now, now I know why we don't get anything for killing the deer. Killing the deer makes you a bad person, and you're not supposed to do it. fog out. Just a quick 200 meters. Might be something there. another shrine and so I'm just like this this episode is just straight up shrine hunting basically I was hitting all the shrines no this is gonna lead me up to golden summit probably but there is something ah about foods for a bit. Sometimes you gotta have some me time, you know? Alright, so we did that. I'm a, I don't I doubt there's anything else right there. It's probably just those two. Um side camp. Maybe something there, but unlikely. Um Let's go do this. Cause we get that, that'll probably clear the fog in that surrounding area. I'll, uh, I'll save the haiku. I've uncovered it. I get headbands out of them. And I'm not running a headband anymore.
This is real easy. Oh shit. One, two, three. Ended into Mongol combo. So, what do I get for doing a fox then now that I have all of my stuff unlocked? trying to keep an eye on my health. The hell? I can't hit this guy. I mean, it's not bad, but... I don't know if the amount of health I'm getting is really worth it. I think the <clears throat> I think the gain full health out of combat is going to be a better bet cuz I'm getting like little nudges but it's I mean it's all right. It's just going to eh.
I'm curious to see what these do now, because... I mean, I've unlocked all my charm slots. So do I just get, like, a straight charm? Or is there, like, a... Just a bonus skill point I get for doing it now, or...? Charm of Inari's Might. So a special Inari focused charm? Sounds useful. I'll try it one more time. <clears throat> These like super jumps. I feel like I should be able to do. Yeah, no, I think I think that's considered like critical velocity. Terminal velocity, that's the term. を手を組むアキュードがいます。そいつが持ってる通行証を家族と奪おうとしたんですが、万兵に返り討ちにされ、それには命を懸けるほどの価値があるのだな。通行証があれば誰でも猛虎に止められることなく自由に道を通れます。
お侍こちらへ通行証を持った悪友のを助けてください実は弟なんです何だと通行証を奪おうとしたのも全て亀井のためでした猛虎に加担したのであれば許してはおけぬそんないいやつなんですどうか無事かは分からぬが探してみようお願いします兵は後を残しておるはずだあったあっちか Wait, I don't even see follow up steps to this. There we go. Wakini Soreta. Let's see what happens. Thank you very much, O Samurai. I don't know. 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 That... 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 どうりで俺が疑われたわけだ通行証など持ってませんあれには運び手の名が掘られてるんです他のものは使えないのかもう行けまた猛虎と手を組んでみろその前に殺されるそれより家族が気がかりですが顔向けはできませんあなんてことをどうすればいい Well, sounds like you messed up, bud. Ghost weapons deal 20% more. Damn, so 20% more on my kunai, my bombs, all that stuff. Um, yeah, I think I like the sound of that. Gonna finish off this little part of the fog and then wrap up this episode. I've had some lunch waiting for me upstairs. Gotta go eat.
Constantly trying to to just hit those perfect parries, but the timing is so tight. Golden Summit Shrine. We've done Golden Summit, right? It's like a mini Mongol camp. There's something over here. I just saw a golden bird. Spring up on the mountain? Yes, it is. All right. So we'll wrap things up here for now with this final hot spring. Um, next episode is probably going to be more of the, the fog unveiling, just kind of hunting down various stuff. So we'll wrap this one up after this, and then I will catch you all soon enough with more. Gotta love that little health increase. Anyway, catch you guys later with more.